Hello there everyone, welcome back. So today guys, we're going to do a wireless wash on this Audi A1 using Turowax's Hybrid Solutions wireless wash. The only difference in the way I do wireless washes is I'm using a microfiber towel at the end. Wireless washes do a nice job on cleaning the windows, however, an additional touch-up may still be required uh, depending on the soiling levels on your windows. Wireless car washes are good for removing light dust, light dirt, but it will never replace a proper car washing detailing routine. However, what's nice about this method is the obvious, you're using less water, it's not as messy. You pretty much work the product in, buff it out, you leave protection. It's also very, very quick. Feels pretty much effortless. You don't have to bust out and use a lot of water, uh, especially when a car is lightly soiled. But with the right technique, you can get really good results and avoid uh, unnecessary paint marring, if you want to call that. Also, I want to talk about the product that I'm using today. It's a very good product, meaning that it's kind of professional grade, I would say. Um, it leaves very good material behind, or it leaves very good wax. It's kind of durable, ceramic based. So uh, basically, the car will be top top with protection. One of the main drawbacks of wireless washing is cleaning out those tight nooks and crannies. You will only be able to clean out uh, flat surfaces or surfaces you have access to. But that's not really an issue if you clean your car regularly and just use this method in between. What's really appealing about this method, at least for me and probably for a lot of people too, is the fact that you just get a bottle of this wireless solution, a few microfiber cloths, and that's basically it. You can wash the whole car with it. Obviously, you have certain limitations, but the concept itself is very cool.
So one of the main weaknesses of wireless washing, as I mentioned before, is getting into those tight areas. And one of them are the wheels, obviously. Um, but what you can do is, however, is clean the face of the wheel, maybe even get the wheel arch a little bit if it's not too dirty. Now as you can see I only addressed the visual part of the wheel arch, I didn't go too far with it. Um, nobody's gonna bend down and look at my wheel arch and uh, shame me for not cleaning it. So these are the finishing result guys, there's so much to say about wireless watch and so hard to put everything into one video, however I just shared my main points that I want to share with you guys. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next videos.